Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I want to do some restoration work on the image that is here on our screen. It is a nice looking AI generated image that has an antique vintage style to it. And it's going to give us opportunity to practice our photo retouching skills. So let's go ahead and do this. The things that I am going to do are clean up the background that she's resting against, change and balance the contrast so that each side of her face is better illuminated. And I'm also going to increase the resolution significantly. And what else are we going to do? Just generally clean up the image before we bring it over to the last step of colorizing, which should just be the icing on the cake of this whole mission. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to encourage me to make more content. And with that, let's get going here. So I'm going to hit seed, bring up my crop tool so that I can quickly get rid of these borders. Just like that. And at this point, I am going to go ahead and get in here and take care of the contrast issues. So this is based on settings that I had previously been using here for another image. So you can see how effective this can be. Let's see if we can do things without it looking washed out or overdone, but I want it to be as sort of as bright as possible. We do want to have some highlighting and shadows happening for sure, because that really does improve things when it comes to the colorizing. So for example, it might be, it might be um, appealing to increase the contrast so that she is just really popping out there. But if we decrease the, if we decrease the amount of highlight or increase it, depending on how you want to look at it, you'll see that we add this sort of um, shaded area in. And so that's going to be important for natural coloring. Great. So let's have a look at the before. And the after, you can see as well in the details of her clothing, how it sharpened everything up very nicely. Very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And at this point, I'm going to export it as a PNG. And I'm going to call it 123. I've already done that. We'll call it 1234 PNG. There we go. And at this point, I'm going to bring it over into Tencent Arc their GFP GAN conversion. And let's go ahead and find our one, two, three, four. There she is. I'm going to change the scale to 10 and I'm going to submit and let that generate. Here is our upscaled version. So we can see that the pixelation has disappeared. We do see some issues here with the irises and the pupils, but that's okay. We're more focused on correcting the overall issues that you would see in a photograph in the real world here. So awesome. I'm going to go ahead and save this as, we will save it as 12345 PNG. And let's go ahead and open our new version up. So compared to the original, I do think that it looks really nice. It may have sort of overdone things in the jewelry, but I'm going to take it because I want the higher pixel count for the rest of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and use the remove tool or rather the spot healing tool. And I'm going to use it instead of the remove tool to go ahead and just take big swipes like so. And the same down here, like that. And we'll see that the background is getting cleaned up already. Let's just do this. Big spot up here. And let's see if I can get any more of that area out of there. Not too bad. Maybe on that last one, I will try the remove tool here and let's see, we just increase the size of our brush fairly significantly here. I'll go ahead and try to cut in as close to that as possible. Like so, and let's see if it gets rid of that blemish. 
So let's see what that did for us. Not looking too bad at all, actually. I think that we've done some significant improvement at this point. Um, the background is nicely taken care of. I think that I will go ahead here and go in with the remove tool and take care of some of the uh, more obvious flyaways, even though they add a lot of realism to the image. I may even just leave this action that's happening over here with the flyaways. But let me just zoom in here and I'm going to do them process them all at once here so you don't have to wait between between rounds of processing so here we go all right so that did clean things up nicely i think that it looks natural enough so let's have a, a look at our overall image here not too bad um you know i'm still i am not happy with all of this action that's happening down here I am concerned though that if I go ahead and take it all out that it's going to look very much like she's has a hat on. So I think that I'm just going to take it as it is right now and go ahead and save it again as another PNG. We'll call it one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's bring this over into Palette FM and give it a colorizing job. So we'll go over here to Palette and I will upload the image and it will kick into gear here. So it's going to analyze the image and then create what it calls the base palette of coloring. And then there are many other palettes that we have to choose from. And it's usually good to check a few of them. So we will try the base palette, the warm glow. And also there are a couple here at the end that tend to work out nicely. Ambient, historic and vintage charm. So I saw that the base came through and I'll show you what I don't like about this coloring. It just looks, it's too much. It's very unnatural looking. Her skin tone is just over the top. Here with warm glow, it's just very unnatural coloring. It's too cool looking and too blue looking. Vintage charm looks fairly realistic and I guess I hit the ambient historic as well, but that is very nice and natural looking. I don't care for the green up in her hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the same image again and see if we have a slightly different result because it will oftentimes give a different result with a new rendering. So I'll jump up here to the ending and hit our vintage charm again though. And we will see which one we prefer. That looks really sharp. It took care of all of the discoloration in her hair. That looks very natural and I'm going to go ahead and download that. I'm going to download it, I guess, in the non-HD version. So if we're paying attention here, you'll see that it's 480 by 510. And that image is actually smaller than what we started with. What we started with was actually 512 by 512. So it seems as though we've gone backwards, but really what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select all of this image I'm going to go ahead and paste that here, which will put it on a new layer. And you see how small it is in comparison. So what we want to do is get the color without bringing over the low pixelation. And we can do that by control T to transform, bring it up to this corner. I will bring it down to this corner. And it's as easy as normal to color for the blend mode. And boom, you have yourself a very nice looking colored image. So let's zoom in here and we can see that the pixelation is, is gone. Um, we have clarity now to the image. I do feel like the contrast has been balanced on her, on her, um, both sides of her face. I think that that definitely helped things. And I think that the background is cleaned up enough that it looks like a studio background and you could put this in a square frame and I think it would look cool. So there you go, folks. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments. I'm always interested to know what you like and don't like so I can produce more awesome content for you. Be sure to like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of these videos. And with that, I will see you the next time.